Hello guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today I thought I would give you a little follow me around the Granville Public Market with me. I currently work here. I know the market back to front, like the back of my hand. And if you've only come here for Lee's Donuts, great, you love that. But what about all the other amazing places you can eat? I know the best places to eat. So let's go on, let's go for a tour. So this is Terra Breads. It is my favorite place to go. I love all the staff that work here as well. These are amazing. I do love the cookies as well. Ginger one's pretty good. I'm not a fan of the tarts. The scones are amazing. The croissants are the best that I've had in Vancouver, to be completely honest. This one's great. The cruffin. So good. It's a croissant muffin with like cinnamon, cream cheese, almond croissant, double baked. Next level. These ham and cheese croissants, honestly, like on par with what you get in like overseas. Blueberry bread, super popular. Oof, looks good. <laughs> and it's like, I would say, like best heated up, to be honest. I don't like it when it's like raw. And then we've got some beautiful breads. It just keeps going. Cheese bread, oh my god, cheese bread is so good. Heated up, like toasted. What else do I like? Hmm, Barosme bread's really good. Multigrain, I mean, it's all good. Heritage sourdough, popular favorite. Kaiser egg for sandwiches, Sasha's chicken melt. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Sasha's chicken melt is not named after me, but it is delicious. It was named after a, a staff member that um, used to work there back in the day. Here at Kaiser Egg, you can also get these amazing gourmet sausages. You get sauerkraut and onions. They are all cooked fresh every day. And pierogies, these are so yum and authentic. Like pretty much exactly what I had when I was in Poland. German schnitzel is one of my favorites. It's delicious, it's pork, and it's all made in house. I see them do it all the time. That's where they're cooking like the sausages over there. And the great thing about Kaiserek, if you head outside, they have their own outdoor seating area, which is completely covered. So for the winter, there's heating in there, little lights. This is open um, in the evening as well. So you can just come from the car park area and walk straight on through and then sit down and you can have a drink in here as well so alcohol is fine and of course you'll need proof of vaccination like everywhere that you have to be in seated dining i love kaiser X so much and everyone who works here is like an angel they have happy hour too so yeah this is just around the corner from the car park so you can get into so many different entrances but there's plenty of parking and you just head in there in the summer this patio is open but yeah, for the moment, it's all seated. It's amazing. So this is one of my favorite places to go to at Granville Market. This is Chow Veggie. It is all vegan. My favorite items, definitely the Golden Temple Soup. I have it with quinoa. I just think that the rice or quinoa like absorbs the sauce so much better. Next option, definitely the Midnight Swim Bowl. It's a little bit spicy, but I love it. It is so good for winter. And it just has like a lot of veggies. It's got like a spicy soy with it. Next up, what would I get? In summer, I definitely get the Rickety Rickshaw Bowl, which is that one there. Super, super good. The signature coconut shake is like one of the easiest, like best things that they sell. I sometimes get that and I like pre-order it to the um, iced Vietnamese coffee. Like I'll add some coffee into the coconut shake. A little like Vietnamese inspired. And it's just this little booth here. They do have a proper restaurant as well on Victoria Street in East Van. But yeah, it is such a lovely, healthy, quick option to have when you're at the market. So this is the mushroom garlic sauce that is used for the, oh, sorry, <laughs> Vlogging sauce. And there's the golden temple broth, so you can make it at home. I mean, the Vietnamese coffee, the, the vanilla bean, so good. That's the ice cream one. Yeah, right? This one, you can, you can, uh, what's called the satay, you can recommend like you can add all to this, all this. <gasps> Yum. And then you can like take it home as well. So you can buy this like direct when you come into Chow. Hi, Ming. <laughs> I'm just vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Wow, Siki just doing a thing behind the scenes of Chow Veggie. Wow. <laughs> Don't stuff it up. <laughs> Love you, Raquel. Love you. <laughs> 
You can give a wave if you like. Yeah, I love you. So here is another one of my favorite spots at Granville Market. It is called Sprig. It is Greek and fresh and fun. My favorite things on the menu, definitely the falafel, like so, so good. The halloumi is amazing too. Out of the, I usually get a plate if I'm gonna go all out. So I'll get like a chicken souvlaki and then you get potatoes, like so, so filling. So I normally would do this if I was working for an eight hour shift or if I'm coming with like friends. Definitely the spanakopita, which I'll show you guys in a second. And then you've got sides, you've got starters, and it's all like made every single day and fresh. They also have Uber Eats. We've got the Spanakopita just there. It's so, so yum. And then we've got our falafel balls. These are the best falafels I've literally ever had in my life. They are so good. And the sauce that you get with it is like next level. And then you can go down here and build your wrap. And then all the different spreads. We've got like hummus, you can put banana peppers, different herbs and spices. Yeah, you can have some Greek salad. It's so like healthy and fresh. It's people think it's hard to find, but it's literally just opposite the pizza place. And this is what the logo looks like. And then you can take it outdoors just there and have a little sit outside if you're feeling like it. But obviously in winter, you would prefer to sit in like the food court just here. So this is where all the seating is. There's also seating upstairs, which I love because you get like a nice view of the outdoor area. And yeah, basically you're staring at False Creek and the city of Vancouver out there. So really, really love Sprig. We're also beautiful. So something to be aware of at Granville Market is the huge seagulls. So they're literally like ocean gulls. They're ginormous. In Australia we have really little ones. But these guys will steal the food from your hands. So the rookie mistake that people make is they like leave the food on like the seat next to them. There is a sign but not many people follow it. But basically the more that these seagulls eat food that isn't meant for them they forget how to hunt and to look for fresh food like fish and other ocean treats so do not feed them pizza do not feed them bread do not feed them anything but they are very aggressive so these huge gulls will literally hover over you and swoop you and especially in summer but they are on the weekends a guy there's like a falconer who comes in that brings a falcon to literally chase these birds away and it works they get scared of the, the bird, but they're very loud and annoying, but they're beautiful. Oh my God, this dog's going for it. <laughs> I feel like one of those girls could pick up a sausage dog, TBH. Just be very aware to hide your food or sit inside when you're at the market. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So if you're coming to the market, you definitely have to go to Bon Macaron. It is so, so good. Some of the amazing flavors that they have, like here we go, we've got pecan pie is a flavor, ginger honey. We have like specific Granville Island flavors, which is awesome. So there's Vancouver gin in the gin fizz. There's beautiful local coffee in the coffee macaron. There's jasmine tea from the Granville Tea Company, which is literally just behind them. Another amazing place to go. If you guys haven't been to Granville Tea Company, it is so, so good. They've been there forever. They're in renovations right now, but they aren't closed. They are still open. There are savory options, which is blows my mind. Tomato basil, there's goat cheese beetroot, bacon, mulled wine I've never tried. I've tried the pineapple one, it's delicious. Strawberry cheesecake's amazing. Root beer float, are you kidding? Fuzzy peach, they're, they're really, really good. Hello, how are you? How are you doing? Amazing. Perfect. How, yeah. How long have you been in the market for? Uh, since 2015 Labor Day, we are here. Wow, I love that you know the day. 
That's great. Somehow it's stuck in my mind and then this is started in Victoria. Yeah. A couple years ago. Oh, there. nice. So what's your favorite flavor? I'm a bit boring, but I think we have a really good pistachio. Yes, I love yes, the pistachio one. Pistachio, please, that's my really tasty. Amazing. We are a newest, newest flavor of this. Yes. Correctly. Very, Very different. different. Yeah, when did you get the mulled wine? So, was that for Christmas that time? That was for Christmas, yeah. That was for Christmas and then we keep it the other, the other Christmas one. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know if I've seen that one. Uh -huh, seasonal flavors. Seasonal flavors. Amazing. And every week something new. What's the most popular? Uh, maybe salted caramel. Yeah. Vanilla, strawberry, blueberry, you know. Uh, the standards, yeah. Blueberry. The classics, yeah. Mango roll. Amazing. Well, I'll let you get back to work, but thanks for chatting to me. Oh my god. You're the best. Bye. Seagulls Bagels is amazing as well. So, so yum. If you're into bagels, this is the place to go. Pizza Bazaar's best pizza in Vancouver. No joke. I know the owner, Tony, he's amazing. The sign isn't great, but where it says gelato pizza pasta, it's opposite Sprig, and they've got gelato there as well, just there. So here's the gelato. Yum. In summer, you can just take it outside. Their pepperoni is amazing. This pizza is like next level. You literally just need one slice and then you're set. Hilarious. Whoever made this sign is a genius. <laughs> so good. The little pizza in the mouth. Okay guys, that is everything I'm going to show you for today at Granville Public Market. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me. If you did like this style of video, please give me a big thumbs up. Really support my channel. Let me know in the comments down below which looks the best food for you. And I hope you come and enjoy it next time you're in Vancouver or whenever you get to come to Canada. But yes, please hit subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! It's just good. It's as good as you think.